Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you function return values. And a function return value is when you have a function and it can actually return a value back to the point that it was initially called from. So if I quickly just set up a void function and call it add, I'm going to pass in two numbers, so in the one and num two, like so, and we'll print out the result, which is num one plus num2 if we were to call a method it's just add let's say for the 10 and 9 we'll get a result of 19 in our console simple stuff but we might not actually want to print it out and you might be thinking okay if we don't want to print it out let's you know get rid of this and do what we want to do but we don't know maybe we don't know what we want to do maybe this function computes something in this case adds two numbers together but we might actually want to print it out in one location. We might want to store it in a database in another location. We might want to use it as part of another calculation in another part of your program. And to do that, it's really useful if you sort of make use of return values. To do a return value, first of all, you need to get rid of void. You need to specify the data type of the value that you're returning. In this case, because it's an integer, we put int. And now we need to put, you know, return in here. So if I put return and we can just do num1 plus num2, which literally will just return whatever this results in. So if we run it, let's see what we get. We get nothing. My thinking, did it, you know, fail? It worked fine. So what this has done has returned the result of 10 plus 9 to this location. That is the same thing as just print 19 there. That doesn't do anything. If I create a variable called result, and I'll do result equals that, and I'll put print out result. As you can see, we get 19 now. And we could do something else with that result as well. We could do result maybe times itself. So we gain the square of 19 in this case. We get 361. So that's how you use function return values. The two things that you need to know is instead of void, you have the data type that you're returning. It could be a string, it could be an int, it could be a boolean, doesn't matter, whatever. Any data type is supported here. And you also need a return statement. This could just be like return num1, for example. Doesn't do much, just returns a number that you've already passed in. But prior to this, you could have some sort of conditional statement, some loops any sort of code that you want and the return always goes at the end because once the return is hit let me demonstrate something if I print out before return and then if I print out after return let's see what we get so the, be the before return is called is printed out but after return is then so as soon as the return statement is hit, it gets out to that function. And in this case, returns the value. So any code after will not be triggered. So just bear that in mind. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.